Welcome back to the Southeastern Sports Report presented by State Farm. We talked about earlier in the program as the Lions had a huge victory here at Strawberry Stadium over the weekend. Well, now let's take a look at the highlights with the voice of the Lions, Mark Willoughby, as Lion football knocked off McNeese. <laughs> The four-man front, they'll rush four. Stanley's got time in the pocket, has a man. It's caught as Tony McRae out of bounds, first down. Long snap count, Stanley to throw, has time. Across the middle, it's caught. That'll be a first down. Stanley Moore has it right at the sticks. This will be a career long if uh, Seth Sebastian's able to make this one from 49 yards. Career long of 47. This one's got distance, and it's good. Seth Sebastian with a career long 49-yard field goal. Gets the Lions on the board. It's 14 to three with four seconds to play. Third down and eight from the 33. Stroud will operate from the shotgun. Twins right. He'll take the football. Has time. Now steps up in the pocket. He's going to go down back at the 31 yard line. Who got him? Justin Church. Takes the football. His ball's fumbled on the ground. Let's see who's got it. Still rolling. Looks like the Lions have it. At the Cowboy 41, and they do. Southeastern gets the turnover. Jeremy Wilson into the ball game as Jawan Rogers goes in motion left side. Good snap, hands it, now it's a bootleg. And he wants to go deep, and he's got a man down there. It's caught inside the five, breaks a tackle down to the one yard line. Marquise Fruge on the catch. On the air. Lions want to go up tempo. Quarterback sneak by Stanley. Looks like he's in. Let's see, he's right at the goal line. And I think he's in, Lions say he is, let's see. And it's a touchdown, Lions answering two plays after the McNeese State fumble. Cowboys show blitz, they'll back out and rush four. Wants to go deep, he's got Tony McRae down there and he's got it! In the Cowboy territory, first down, Southeastern at the 49 yard line. Cowboys in a four man front, they'll rush four. Stanley steps up across the middle. He's got a man. That's Stanley Moore. Breaks a tackle inside the five, 10 down to the six yard line. Stanley Moore dragging. Stanley takes the football, hands it away. Cheney dives into the end zone. Touchdown. Michael Cheney, Lions first rushing touchdown of the year. And Southeaster draws within a touchdown. Here's Bo Mott to punt it away. Carey stands back at his 25. Gets a clean snap. Now Bo wants to fake it. He's got a man wide open. It's caught. First down. That's Rogers Mueller. And he's out of bounds at the Cowboy 40 yard line. Rogers Mueller. Wow, the deep snapper. What a play. And we saw Southeaster work on that formation for the last two or three weeks, wondering if they would ever run it. <laughs> Where the deep snapper is eligible. And uh, wow. Stanley to throw, they come after him, dumps it off across the middle, that's Milan. he's got it inside the five to the three, first and goal for the Lions at the three yard line, they got him in man to man. A slot near side, single wide out to his left, takes the football, wants to roll to his right, wants to throw back, has a wide open, touchdown, Taylor Jenkins, wide open in the end zone of the throwback and the Lions have drawn within one. Sends weary in motion. Takes the football. Hands it straight ahead. He's in. He scores. The Lions take the lead. 25 to 24. Wow. Round. Stands back to his 12. Drops the throw. And this ball is intercepted. Intercepted. Robert Alford picks it off. And the Lions have the football. Thanks, Mark, as you could hear the excitement in his voice as the Lions knocked off McNeese State. Let's go back out to the field and check out some player and coach Ron Roberts' reactions. Unbelievable, man. Dream come true. Comeback victory. We, we went in at halftime. We just believe we can come out, and if we play together as a unit, that we can execute, and it happened. Everybody bought in. They believed in each other. Man, it's a, it's, a, it's a great feeling. Actually, my mind went kind of blank. I just saw, you know, the ball flying through the air, and I just, I had to, I knew from the time I snapped it, to the time I cut on the route that I had to catch it. And, uh, it wasn't just me depending on me catching that ball. It was really, I wanted to do it for the guys out here every day. You know, we work really hard and it, it would be so sad to see all that go to waste if we if I just dropped that ball. I'm, so I'm real excited more so probably for our players right now, all the work they put in, all the hard work they put in. You know, and at this point haven't really got a, a reward yet. 
and uh, you kind of get frustrated at that time. So it's, this is great for our players. So there's a lot of excitement surrounding southeastern football right now as the Lions move to 1-0 in Southland Conference play. Let's switch gears a little bit and go out to the southeastern soccer complex as Kimler Chapel has the Lady Lions in the highlights against Mississippi Valley. Southeastern Louisiana women's soccer team continued their homestand hosting Mississippi Valley State. Early on, the Lady Lions were on the attack as senior Lauren Stillions narrowly misses the goal. Southeastern would break through as Kelsey Salcedo heads in a corner kick from Kayla Vera, gives Southeastern a 1 0 advantage. Jim Babcock with the steal there for Southeastern, plays it ahead to Maya Cooper. Southeastern senior goal scoring leader misses an easy opportunity there. Later in the match, she would find the net for the Lady Lions. Freshman Dynamo Kayla Vera just misses a goal opportunity. Shanice Shaw plays a nice ball into the box, and senior Sam McNally's right there to knock it in. Gives Southeastern a 2-0 lead. McNally doubles the lead for the Lady Lions, who would go on to win this match 3 to nothing. It's Maya Cooper scored her team high seventh goal of the season to complete the scoring later on. Lady Lions had another good opportunity here. It's McNally plays it ahead to Megan Miller, but her shot just goes wide, but Southeastern was able to come up with a 3-0 win over Mississippi Valley State. Goals by Kelsey Salcedo, Sam McNally, and Maya Cooper. Southeastern won 4-0 over Grambling to close out non-conference play and finish their season-long six-match homestand. Late Lions had goals from senior Carly Daggis, senior Maya Cooper, freshman Kayla Vera, and sophomore Jim Babcock to take a 4-0 win over the in-state rival Lady Tigers. So congratulations to Coach Blake Hornbuckle as his team now sits at 6-4 and four through their first 10 games as they get ready for Southland Conference play. All right, let's take a break and we'll have a lot more for you right here on the Southeastern Sports Report presented by State Farm. Aaron, you're all set. Great, thanks. Mike, thanks for doing that discount double check. You saved us hundreds. What was that? The discount double check? It's when we comb through your policies and make sure that you're getting all the discounts you deserve. No, I get that part, but you guys are doing my move. The Discount double check move? That's my touchdown dance. You're a dancer? I'm a quarterback. Oh, quarterback. More. I'm a robot. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Aaron Rodgers got his. How about you? Count on Ken Keneally in Baton Rouge for the discounts you deserve. 